They don't ask for what will make them a blessing to other people. They ask for what will enrich them. So that whatever it is they ask for, when they receive it, it changes their life and their social standing in, in the public eye. Amen. Amen. For people to uphold us, to look up upon us with great status than for us to be a blessing to other people's lives. When God gives you a blessing, He means for you to be a blessing to other people. Genesis chapter 39. Because the book of Genesis talks about Joseph who was in Potiphar's house. It says that Potiphar got blessed in everything that he did and all of his things, even his uh, um, because of the presence of Joseph. Amen. Amen. It means when Joseph was praying, he was not praying for status, for people to say this man is rich, but he was praying. We have people who are praying in church. When he or she is praying in the presence of people, he prays so that people can say, oh, that one is a prayer. He or she prays with such noise that people must hear that she or he is praying now. But where is your heart? When you have prayed, are there any changes? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You must ask what is in accordance with God's will. Hallelujah. Amen. 
If you are not going to be able to do it, if you desire marriage, let it be that it is in accordance with God's will for you. So that your marriage exalts or uplifts you. So that your marriage can bring glory. To you. So that your marriage can bring a, a thanksgiving unto God. Amen. Amen. That it, it mustn't be an issue of you because must, marriage we must all see your ring. Because that is what people are looking at. Some people will pray for God to give them a car so that the rest of the church can see that he or she has a church. When God answered you with that car, he wanted for you to come to church on time. He wanted you to be able to reach places where they Regardless of how far it is. Not for people to be amazed at the kind of car you are driving. Amen. Hallelujah. We ask for what is in accordance with God's will. Amen. What is, what is my cry is for prayer to change your life. I want to see people's lives changed because of the kind of prayer life they lead. We don't want to see masses in this church. But with very little change taking place in their lives. We've known you from day one. Two years if they did it. And two years you are still the same. Five years down the line, you are still the same. Ten years later, it's still the same story with you. How? No. There must be a change in your life. Amen. Amen. And it's a problem. And it is prayer that can draw you closer to God. And when you are closer to God, your life will indeed change. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I think you would have to go to the house. I think you would have to go to the house. I think you would have to go to the house. Yeah, you see. Okay. Amen. 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 It helps very little if we are to become a church with masters but with people who are not changing in their life, who are not changed by prayer. From your days of salvation, you were moving with the Spirit of God. You are saved for many years now, yet you are still entangled in the Spirit of God. But you want God and expect Him to give you answers. From the days of before your salvation, you were a jealous someone. When you see someone giving a positive testimony, you become jealous. Yet you expect God to answer your prayers. How can God answer your prayers? When your heart is full of God. How can God answer your prayers? When your heart is full of God. How will God answer you? When your um, heart is filled with stubbornness. Amen. Some people's hearts are hardened. Even when God is there trying to help him, he or she is holding on to themselves. Amen. We want God to help us. Amen. 
Lord, I pray. Help me by strengthening me. So, so that I can reach the home of joyousness. Amen. Amen. And he who is the searcher of hearts has knowledge of the mind of the spirit because he is making prayers for the saints in agreement with the mind of God. Mm. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and he who searches our heart knows the mind of the Spirit. Because the Spirit intercedes for God's people in accordance with the will of God. Oh, Amen. 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 Intercession, intercede. Moyemela. Hallelujah. Amen. Moyona. Oh, hona moyemela bacheto. The Holy Spirit can intercede on behalf of the believer. Moyagatato yabuti. According to the will of God. Amen. Amen. Again, this le kere kupela choni abana le tato yabuti mo. Yena buti mo arigwa abana araba. Again. Choni yena moyona. Now the Holy Spirit that can search our hearts can also intercede on our behalf in accordance with that which is the will of God for our lives. Amen. Amen. James chapter 4, verse 3. You make your request but you do not get it because your request has been wrongly made desiring the thing only so that you may make use of it for your pleasure because you request but whatever it is that you request is done with wrong motives because you ask with the intention of using that which you are going to get for your own pleasures Amen But Amen Whatever you are asking for, you ask so that you can use for your own benefit, not for the benefit of the kingdom of heaven, not for the work of God. Whatever it is that we ask for, we want God to give it to us so that we can use it for the kingdom of God. What we ask for must not be of benefit to ourselves only, but it must benefit also to those people who don't know God. We want what we are asking for so that it can impact people's lives, change their lives for the better. Those who did not believe that there is a God in heaven Those who did not believe that there is a God who exists 
must now believe that there is a God in heaven. But what you desire, you ask with wrong motives. So that only you can be of benefit. The work of God must not benefit. You will never grow spiritually. Hallelujah. You will not develop spiritually. That's why we have people who are speaking as if they are spiritual chains, even when they are grown up. Even when they pray, they pray as if they are still spiritual children. Their thinking is that of spiritual children who have saved yesterday. There is no maturity or growth spiritually within their lives. That's why people hop in and out of churches as if they are changing a pair of socks. Amen. Amen. The word of God is not meant to tantalize your taste buds. It is for you to develop spiritually. If people come to church because they expect the pastor to tickle their fancy. That's why when we start preaching the word of God, people walk out and leave. Because they want the word of God that will tantalize their taste buds. Amen. Amen. A sin is a sin. There is no other way that I can put it except to call it a sin. I cannot sugarcoat a sin. I cannot put a cherry on sin. Philandra is a philandra. Adultery and theft is adultery and theft. Amen. Amen. We want a church that will grow spiritually. It is my prayer to see people who will grow to a point that even when I'm not here when I'm upset I will know that, that, the church, that a service is coming that people are saying that one of you will give a message that one of you God will give a message that they will be able to say we saw God in that person Potiphar saw God through Joseph. Amen. Amen. What do people see looking into your life? What does your neighbor see in your life? What do your children, your brothers, see? your relatives, what do they see in your life? When people look at some of you, they see a first class cook. How can you give out trust? How can God trust you when mere human beings, mortals, are afraid of you? Some of you are so untrustworthy. How does the Lord trust you? The word of God says, He that is not good with small things cannot be trusted. How can God trust you? How can God trust you with big things when you cannot be trusted with little things? When you cannot even bring a tithe for hundred thousand. How can God give you hundred thousand? Because you will run away and no longer come to church because of the tithe you must give. You, you. Then how can God trust? How can God trust you with big things? You are very anxious with in your own life. And you ask with ill motives. So that what you get from God you can and, you can them, and you can live in squander them. James chapter 5, verse 16. Ipuleleng sebe sing salina. Lira pele la ne burli fori shwe. Tapelo ema tayamuluki. Amen. A power 
powerful prayer of a righteous brethren can avail much. Your prayer, do not, see, do not look around for someone else's prayer, for your own. Your own prayer, not your pastor's prayer, your own prayer, your own uh, spiritual prayer, a powerful prayer, can avail much and change circumstances, and change your thoughts. Lives. But if your prayer is weak, it will make your friends change. You will become what they are. You will be susceptible to their influences. Amen. But let me come a change. You will be susceptible to their own, to their influence. And with your weak life, with your weak spiritual life, they will cast demons out of you. You will not cast demons out of them. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Because how are you weak? Because your spiritual life or your prayer is weak. Amen. The prayer of a religious person is powerful and effective. Verse 17, Elijah was a human being, even as we are. He prayed earnestly that it, it would not rain, and it did not rain on the land for three and a half years. Elia in the Elimoto, Ea Fokola, Ubu Karina, Ubu Kine Arapena, Aripula Sikeana, Mewa Fitanyaga, Emira, Ulibuweli, Jenny Silelao, Osana Pula Fasi. Again he prayed, and the heavens gave rain, and the earth produced its crops. Awana Arapena, Milo Timola, Nishapula, the Fasi Lapidishadi, Ewa Chalona. Amen. The prayers of a righteous man in Alimak has power in can change circumstances. Elijah Elijah was a man just as we are. But he was able to pray for three years and it didn't rain. And And so it was. And he prayed once more for the rain to come. Fall come down and the earth was able to harvest again. If Elijah was able to pray that kind of prayer, you can, pray. you can also be able to pray that kind of prayer. Amen. Amen. You can also pray a prayer that will make results be visible in your life. Don't just be a brethren. Don't just be a church cover. Let your life be a life of prayer. Let your life be a life What kind of brethren are you? Amen. Amen. When people look at you, what do they see? People are scared of you everywhere you go. Amen. Amen. Because because your methods and your manners are not right. And hoping from one church to another will not help you. Our churches are facing great difficulty. But people want to come to church, but they want to do what they feel, what pleases them in church. What makes their hearts pleased. May uh, us give those teachings which will give them a joy in their uh, in their lives. When we speak the truth, people leave. 
Church, I hope you will never change your life. Amen. Amen. Because you are not going to be able to do it. Amen. Because you are not going to be able to do it. Amen. 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 You will go to a different church. You will sit there for two Sundays. The third Sunday, a message will come, and you will swear that your past has followed you to that church. Amen. Hallelujah. How long will you go from church to church? Another one will say, "I will go and I will uh, fellowship on TV at home." That is a blatant lie. You need children of God to congregate around you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So, when Everybody be some to tap 34. Verse 15. The eyes of the Lord are on the upright and his ears are open to their cry. Amen. Amen. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and he is attentive to their cries. Do you want God to help you? His eyes are upon you. They know your steps. Even when you can come and lie to us. You are beautiful to the outside world, but when God looks at you, he looks away. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We must please God. Not the world. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 